you are in the gate csc and it section at openi school and in this series we are discussing the previous year questions as well as concepts related to the programming in c subject in this video we'll discuss a question that was asked in gate 2012 examination the question is that what will be the output of the following c program segment now we have been given a program in the c language and we have been asked which of these following uh, choices is true for this question now this question is related to the switch case statements and uh, there is a very basic concept of switch case statement that has been used inside this uh, program so if you notice that the switch uh, statement is being passed a variable in care so we have we have declared the variable in care here and the value of in care is a capital a now we are passing this variable to the uh, switch function so the cases will be evaluated based on the value of in care so because the value of in care is a the first case should match right now what do you need to understand and remember about the switch case statement is that no matter how many cases you write inside the switch statement every single case including the default case should have a break statement in it because you know that the default case is not always written at the you know bottom of the switch uh, statement it can be written at the top in the middle also so even for a default case there has to be a break statement the break statement tells the case that after executing the logic written above the break statement it has to go outside the switch statement so what you will notice in this program is which has been given in this particular question that there is no break statement after uh, in in the uh, in the case a there is no break statement in case b then no in c d e and there is no break statement uh, in the default case so let's just run this program and see what should be the output of this program so let's run this program inside the uh this this using the c compiler so here you can notice in this program that there is no break statement now if i run this program and look at the output the output says choice a in the first line choice b and no choice in the second line why are they in the second line because the value of in care is capital a so this case will actually match right so so this case will match and this line will get printed choice a and then there is a new line character so then we'll go to the next line so because there is no break statement then from here we will go directly into the case b and this line will get printed in the next line uh, choice b will be printed then there is no break statement here also so we'll go to case c nothing to do case d nothing to do case e nothing to do and then we will enter in the default case and we will print no choice so here you notice there is a new line character but here there is no new line character so choice b and no choice will be printed in one line whereas choice a will be printed on the inside the first line choice b and no choice will be printed in the uh, the second line now suppose suppose we had a break statement here suppose we had a break statement here then what then the output should have been only choice a because after printing choice a the case a will break out of the switch statement if let's say there was no break statement in the case a but there was a break statement in case b then what will happen is the uh, choice a this string will be printed and in the next line choice b will be printed the the default case the default case will not run because we have added a break statement to the case b so if we run this program now now the output is choice a then in the next line choice b because we have a break statement in case b so now with this understanding let's look at the question now choice a says that uh, no choice will be printed this is wrong then the option b is choice a will be printed this is again wrong because you see there is no break statement so 
this case b uh, case b and the default case will run choice c says that the output should be choice a in the first line choice b and no choice in the second line so this is what we just noticed when we executed this program so c is the right answer program gives no output and as it is erroneous so this is wrong because we just saw that the program compiles and also execute perfectly so with this uh, with this understanding we'll end this video here in the next videos we'll talk about more questions which were asked in the previous year gate examinations